bomb daily. It's fashion B O M B daily.com. like the other boys do. They stare at me while I stare at you. Hey guys, my name is Claire. I'm a free woman living in the world and I love to shop on a budget and come with me as I find you. like the other boys do. They stare at me I'm Tavia of Disrupt TV and I'm here with the gorgeous Claire Somers of Fashion Bomb Daily. Hi! <laughs> okay, so I wanted to know, when did you start Fashion Bomb Daily? I started it in August 2006. What made you start it? Um, I used to work in magazines and I wanted to do something like create a website that was more personal to what I was interested in. and. Uh, if Tumblr were around or if any of these social networking sites were around back then, it probably would have just been a Tumblr. But the only thing around was blogs, so I started a blog spot and it just started off with me shopping, talking about me shopping, because um, that's what I genuinely love to do, as you can see from my closet. And then I started to incorporate celebrity style and use my background in writing and research to become, you know, this number one stop for multicultural women who love everything fabulous. But the subject matter of Fashion Bomb Daily came about because um, I majored in African American studies and French oh, wow. in college, and um, I've always just looked at, you know, the representations of black women and women of color in the media and wanted to be a voice for people um, who are like me, who don't see themselves yeah. in the magazines that you see on newsstands. So I just wanted to create something for, for girls like me. When you first started um, Fashion Bomb Daily, what was the first blog you posted? The first blog I posted, I was like, hey guys, my name is Claire. I, I could probably recite it. Um, I was like, I'm a 20-something year old free woman living in the world and I love to shop on a budget and come with me as I find things for less than retail. Like it really was a general shopping site about me and me buying stuff and like returning stuff, about me breaking my shoe as I was walking down the street. Like um, I was trying to find a focus for a very long time. And I was like, oh, I live in Brooklyn. Like, I can find cool boutiques in Brooklyn. But I was like, oh, Yelp already does that. And then, like, the, the whole celebrity style and me finding out what people are wearing, that came, like, after some time and doing some research and really just applying a demand that I saw, like, filling, filling a void in the marketplace and, you know, understanding and knowing that I was somebody who could help do that. This is this is this is this is What did you find to be your biggest challenge starting the blog? Well, the biggest challenge, I think that's the the biggest challenge is finding something to write about that can keep your interest and I think any blogger's struggle is you staying interested in doing it and committed to doing it um, just just that commitment and devotion because it's a grind like every day you're working you're uploading pictures you don't really get a vacation so you do have to love it <laughs> You have arrived at your destination. The route guidance is now finished. Okay, so I saw you during Fashion Week and I was literally in awe at just, you're like a one-woman crew. <laughs> How do you balance going to all the shows and posting right after? Um, well, I'm not a one-woman show. Mm -hmm. I do have a, a fabulous staff of people who are just as devoted to, to the mission as I am. Mm -hmm. So... I had somebody who was in charge of writing show reviews, and then I had somebody okay. who's in charge of writing 
fashion news, and then I have somebody who does celebrity style. So I hire freelancers, young people who want to break into the industry, and um, they help me to run the site. But I am the face of the site. Okay. Um, I noticed you're wearing Burgos Lounge, and on your site, I see a lot of young, up-and-coming African designers. Mm -hmm. How do you discover them and decide to post them on your site? A lot of times, it's just people reaching out. Like, Burgos Lounge sent me an email at least three or four years ago, and I remember I went to London Fashion Week, and they live in London, mm -hmm. and they ended up giving gifting me, like a lot of stuff like I think they give, gave me this dress then oh, wow. <laughs> and it didn't fit I had to like get it tailored and all sorts of stuff which is why I'm wearing it now but you know I, I love I love their clothing and you can just tell when something's good quality like after seeing so many fashion shows and looking online and seeing you know you figure out what's good and what's not good so it just comes down to like somebody having a really great lookbook somebody having a professional website offering e-commerce and you know custom great customer service and I think anybody can thrive with all those ingredients. Okay, so I want to start a blog and I feel that there's so many blogs out there. Do you think it's too late to I don't think it's too late. I think that people are always looking for inspiration and you just have to figure out what it is you're going to bring to to the discourse that's different from everybody else and you know, I, I wouldn't challenge anybody to, to do what I do because yeah. I, mean, I kind of like being, you know, one of a kind. But, like, um, <laughs> you know, there have been com com competitors who have come yeah. along. Um, and and there, there there's honestly room out there, enough room out there for everybody. I think that the true, um, the true, like, I guess um, indicator of success as a blogger is if you're going to just persevere, just continue to do it, and continue to try out new things and see what sticks. Like, and that's something that I've had to do a lot with the blog. Like for a long time, we were just going along, and then I was like, "Oh, let's do the bombshell of the day thing," and that's like the most popular. Mm -hmm. Um, feature and then just the other day I was like you know what like it would be really cool to do something on just shoes because a lot of times when people look at runway clothes they can't they're too affordable they don't come in your size whatever one thing that's pretty universal is accessories that's and true. especially shoes so I did a feature on Kurchi Tran and her shoes and then Solange Knowles and her shoes and both of those are like two of the most popular posts this week. So just kind of trying out new things and seeing what works and then continuing to, to correct and build upon that. And what was your inspiration for this season? You know, we were really creating a wardrobe for like an urban warrior woman. You know, you're just sort of psyching yourself up for the day, you know, and you're putting energy in your step, and that's how I come to work every day, and I really wanted to show that on the runway, you know? I mean, she's in her own world a little bit. She's kind of a bad chick. Right. <laughs> you know, and she's got cool clothes. Yes. And she's in her own world. How did you expand on your fan base? Well, you know, that's been a long time coming, but the way that you do it is by aligning yourself with people who have bigger fan bases. So one of the first blogs that ever leaked to me was Young Black and Fabulous, which is oh, like, okay. yeah, a mm huge -hmm. blog. Then um, Nicole Bitchy, I was writing for Nicole Bitchy, and um, she linked back to me. Um, I've been linked to by uh, The Cut, Fashionista.com, New York Times, Newsweek, all these huge sites that have ton of traffic and then people come visit and if they're intrigued then they stay if they're, they're not they go away and also from um, cultivating great relationships with celebrities like mm -hmm. when I wrote about Karuchi Tran she retweeted the blog link and a lot of her followers started you know they visit the website so the fact that I talk about celebrities is great because you know, if I do something on them and, and they appreciate it, then, you know, they can they can shout me out, so. Okay, so where do you see Fashion Bomb Daily going um, in the next year, in the next five years? 
Well, I think Fashion Bomb Daily is good. Um, I'm working on the Claire Selmers brand now. That's, okay. that's my new project. I think that after almost nine years of, of running this website, um, it's time for me to move on. And um, I'm not going to shut the blog down. Don't worry. Um, but I, I do want to, um, uh, I guess, preen somebody or teach somebody to do what I do. And I will continue to be an ambassador for the site. I, I want to go to Lagos and and yes. meet people out there <laughs> and 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 travel and kind of take Fashion Bomb Daily on the road and um, and start living life a little bit more. But I I see Fashion Bomb growing into a more global brand, and I don't think it can I can become a global brand by me sitting here behind my computer. Like I need to get out and start reaching out and touch people, doing the whole street style and meeting people. And I can have somebody here who's doing like the day to day, look by look of every celebrity that we cover. Speaking of Lagos, have you ever been to Africa? Anywhere in Africa? Yes, I've been to South Africa. Um, we went to Johannesburg, uh, Zimbabwe, Zambia. We went to Cape Town. Was it for Fashion Bomb Daily or no, just no, no, as no, vacation? No, 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 no. Okay. My dad is a pilot. <laughs> oh, okay. And um, so I've been a lot of places. Not as many as I should be with a dad. Like I can fly for free, so I can go anywhere I want. <laughs>